Hey, Maple here. Today on Flavor Frenzy, I'll be putting every bear combo to the test to see which ones do the best damage. We're testing all of these guys against none other than Mothmallow. With 85,000 HP, he would be a great damage sponge. Every bear will be tested a few times at max level. We're going to see what sort of damage they could do with just 2 sets and then see their true potential with 5. And how much of a difference are they with Matcha and Bacon's help? Oh, well Mocha and Starfruit also exist I guess, but they're almost exclusively meant to help you earn bonus gumdrops throughout your playthrough. So because of that reason, I won't be testing them at all today. And for the case with Matcha and Bacon, while they don't actually do any damage, they buff other bears damage, range, and cooldown. Altogether, that's enough to make a noticeable difference when things start getting maxed out. So, I'll be testing them on and off throughout this video. Let's get a quick baseline score with two sets of sushis and cupcakes. As Mothmella walks out of the first set's range, they leave him at 69k HP, meaning that they did around 16k damage. Oh, that's a huge stun. That's not good. And by the time they reach the end, the last set takes the total damage count to 30.5k, leaving him with 54.4k HP. Same test now but with Matcha and Bacon, this time they do 65.5k total damage. A bit better than what I expected. For a real difference, now there's 85 of them on the track. 50 of them are sushis and 35 are cupcake. 25% like a quarter of the way through? They might make it through. Mothmellow's walk down the track is a lot harsher now. With the extra bears placed closer to the start of the track, he makes it halfway through with about half of his health. These bears seem to have a good chance of actually knocking him down, but they let him slip through with about 10k left. Oh, out of range. Now for Matcha and Bacon's time to shine. His health drains much faster this time, and they even knock him down just a bit after he reaches the midpoint. Then they deal with his smaller form instantly while he dashes for the end. Seems like they could handle more than just one. So two of them should do the job. The first Mothmallow falls just like before, and the second one still has 47k HP left. But as I turn back, these bears do an extra 7k damage. Now that he's all alone, everything gets to focus their sights onto him, dropping him to his knees so close to the end. Don't tell me I gotta test again. Okay, yeah, they're not gonna make it through. His small form manages to escape with only 4k HP left. Let's get these numbers on the board. Two sets alone do 30.5k and 65.5k with matcha and bacon. Then five sets do 74.6k and insane 185k damage with matcha and bacon. Though that's not really fair since cupcakes were damaging both at the same time throughout the whole track, while the sushis only really did damage to the first one. So to be fair, I'm calculating for when there's only one target on the track. From the first two rounds, Matcha and Bacon help them to do just over two times their normal damage. That's a pretty good buff. Now for Ube and Flan's turn. They both apply effect doing damage over time, meaning Matcha won't give them an extra damage bonus. They only get shorter cooldowns and extra range, which doesn't really affect them since they already cover almost all of the track already. Ube and Flan also can't stack their effects, only reapplying them as soon as they run out. Testing them twice with and without Matcha and Bacon. On this track, the best damage you could get out of them is only 9260 damage. That's terrible, though they kinda exist just to thin out crowds. Roquefort and Caviar should be a lot more promising. So far every range bear that I've played with does insane damage. Together the combo gives Roquefort the ability to crit, basically adding a bit of extra damage to some of his hits. While they only do about 42k damage this round, their damage rate with Matcha and Bacon seems to be a lot better. Bumping up their numbers to 30 Caviars and 30 Roqueforts, they get pretty close again, but Mothmallow gets passed with about 5k HP left. Now with Matcha and Bacon's help, not only did they stop Mothmallow by the time he reached the midpoint, they easily handled two of them next time I tried.
Let's see how they do with three of them now. The first Moth Mellow gets to their second phase just like the two times before, and while he's transitioning to the small Moth Mellow, the bears are allowed to switch their primary focus to the second one. Now that the second one is the leading target, he falls just as before. But this time, as the second Mothmello comes out of his second phase, the last one stuns the bears nearby, allowing for small Mothmello to reach the end with a sliver of health left. The final Mothmello's health is just below 50%, but he's already too close to the end. He lets out one more scream, debuffing our bears for a moment, and finally reaches the end of the trek with under 9k HP. Wait, guys, this round, they did a total of 266k damage, meaning Macha and Bacon let them do nearly 3 times the damage. That's insane. Moving on to summoners, my personal favorite type of bear. When Pine Bear and Waffle are placed down in each other's range, the Waffle Bots get the ability to zap things in front of them. It's a lot more effective for thinning out crowds than it is for a boss, but it is a bit of extra damage anyways. Two sets are pretty underwhelming, but not the worst. And with Matcha and Bacon, they only do an extra 12k damage. Now with five sets though, they do pretty decent damage, but they get Mothmello to the second phase too late in the track. And while he's transitioning, the freshly spawned Pineberry Spirits walk right through them. I don't know if that's unlucky timing or what, but the very next round with Matcha and Bacon, it happened again, making only a difference of 1.3k damage from last time. Now comparing everything, so while Pineberry and Waffle make the track entertaining to watch, with Matcha and Bacon, Pineberry and Waffle didn't do as much extra damage compared to the rest. And for the best performing combos, for the two sets chart, Roquefort and Caviar take the top spot, both with and without Matcha and Bacon's help, and for the worst, Ube and Flan, it's also impossible for them to do any more damage. The reason is, is their inability to stack their own effects. So that also means they would be placed in last place on the 5 sets chart too. And now on this chart, placed above Ube and Flan is Sushi and Cupcake again, our baseline. But again, they swap spots when Matcha and Bacon are in the mix. And for the best bear combo, Roquefort and Caviar, they do 89,000 damage alone, and almost tripling that with Matcha and Bacon. At 266,540 damage, they basically go through two Moth Mellows and nearly a third. And of course, things might get rebalanced in future updates. But at the moment, these are the rankings. But hey, subscribe, because by the time this video is uploaded, Brang is getting a new combo ability. And you don't want to miss our video on that.